My name is Eric Tucker and I cover the FBI Justice Department and National Security for the Associated Press. A Justice Department special counsel has concluded a four-year investigation into origins of the FBI's investigation into potential collusion between Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign and Russia. The 306-page report from special counsel John Durham was a fairly damning assessment of FBI actions during the course of the 2016 and 2017 investigation. What it primarily found was that the FBI lacked an adequate basis to launch its investigation, and it said that even as the FBI uncovered evidence that undercut its premise of a potential coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia, it either minimized, ignored, or rationalized away that evidence to keep the probe going. John Durham was the longtime U.S. attorney in Connecticut. That means he was the top federal prosecutor. And he's somebody who had been picked over the course of his career by attorneys general, actually of both parties. In the history of our country, there's never been a movement like MAGA, Make America Great Again. Donald Trump has really claimed significant vindication, or at least tried to claim significant vindication from this report. He had earlier claimed that Durham would uncover the crime of the century, something that Durham did not suggest in his report that he had done. And then even after the report was released, Trump said that in fact, Durham had indeed uncovered the crime of the century. And he said the American public had been scammed and that this report shows it. And so clearly as Donald Trump is entering and, and, and moving forward with his 2024 campaign, he's clearly uh, reveling in this report because in many ways it does paint an unflattering picture of the investigation by the FBI. From the FBI's perspective, it has acknowledged that errors and mistakes were made, but it also really notes that these were errors and mistakes that occurred under different leaders who are no longer with the FBI. And it also said that the steps that it's taken to deal with these problems would have prevented them from occurring in the first place had they been in place in 2016 and 2017. This report comes actually at a pretty difficult time and a really serious moment for the FBI and the intelligence community. So this is something where the FBI is going to have to sort of really work to ensure, try to persuade the American public that it's a different FBI, uh, that it's learned its lessons, um, and that it requires these very specific, very intrusive, very powerful, and it says very useful national security surveillance authorities.